everyone, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio here today with my creative year. The monthly challenge word is... <laughs> oh my goodness, <laughs> all of a sudden it escaped me. Let me look it up. Is transformation. Okay, so I'm going to transform a page, a double spread that I did not like. And what I did was after that is I just took my thumbnail and dug all the paper off of it that I could possibly get off of it because I was not happy with the way it looked. After I dug up this side, I thought, well, that's really cool. I actually like it after I dug the paper off. This side, not so much. So I'm going to fast forward you through my process, whatever I'm thinking I might try to make it be, and then I will talk to you at the end about it. See you on the other side.
Okay, so this is the completed page that I did for transformation, and I know you're going to see the before, but this was the other side to it. And oddly enough, that's very weird. The color, this is a teal blue, and this is a different color blue, but, you know, they're both a form of blue. That was weird, because I didn't even think about it when I was painting it on there. <laughs> anyway, so um, this is a... I'm thinking this is a knockoff about the of the original, although I'm not really sure, but the artist that created this face that is a man's face, and it's all vegetables, his name is Giuseppe Archimbaldo, and he was a 5th, 16th century painter, and he was Italian. I first saw his artwork, uh, somebody gave me a card uh, when I was in culinary school back in 1995, and I fell in love with it. I thought, well, that's really cool because it's a person's face all out of food. And I loved it. So I had a chance later on during, uh, was it 9-11 was 2001. Right before or right after 9-11, a friend and I were scheduled to go to Paris where I had signed up to go to a cooking school in the south of France. And then we decided once the cooking school was over, we would take a train into Paris. And we did. And we went to the Louvre. It just so happens they were on strike that day, so they let everybody in for free. So we went in, and somebody had told me they thought that that's where his stuff was, was in the Louvre. So I looked it up, and sure enough, there they were. I think they had like four or, four or five of his paintings, and they were big. I mean, huge paintings. And I got to see them, and I, that only confirmed the fact that I just love his work. So... Um, I wanted to do something today to for the picture that I had in my stash. Um, you are what you eat. Ta-da. And then have the fruits and vegetables down below. I'm going to put his name and the year um, he was born and passed away on here. But the really cool thing that a lot of people don't know is there are two things here. The man... And if you turn it upside down and look at it, it's just a bowl of vegetables. That's all it is. Just a bowl of vegetables that are in layers. And when you turn it back, it's a man's face. He has another one that's like that. Is It's called Fruits in a Basket. And it's a wicker basket. And it's sitting upright. I mean, it's a wicker basket. It's got fruit in it. But if you turn it around, it's the same thing. It's a person's face, all with uh, fruit. Very cool. Um, I looked at Google, and I thumbed through nine pages of his stuff. And I have to tell you, I still love his paintings. They just get me so excited. I really do like them. Okay, so this is it for my transformation for my creative year for the month of November. I hope you enjoyed watching. I know there were a lot of clips, but it took me like, I don't know, two and a half hours to do this. I must have changed my na my my mind about 50 times. Then I had, I photocopied some of the stuff. I didn't want to cut up the original picture, so I photocopied it and then ran it off the printer and then cut the stuff up, put it on here because I like the picture of the beets, the whole picture of the beets, the whole picture of the carrots, the whole picture of the purple cauliflower that has the words on them. So I photocopy those and put those in the computer so I can use those again another time. Okay, so like, share, sub subscribe, and leave a comment, and I will see you all next month. I'm sorry, this was supposed to have posted today, and guess who forgot? So it'll be out Wednesday morning. See you guys later. Bye.